Hello, Dreams Done Quick. How are you all doing? I'm Nicole Goodnight, and welcome back to another episode of As Seen on TV. We have a very fun theme tonight. It is turtle time. We've got a absolutely chock full of turtles schedule. Um, just so much turtles, you won't even believe it. It's There's a lot. Um, but first, before we dive into the turtles, I wanted to let you all know that Awesome Games Done Quick 2024 will be live in person January 14th through 21st in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Volunteer submissions will close September 8th. Use exclamation point AGDQ in Twitch chat for more info. And if you're interested in camera, check-in, tech, or any of the other volunteer positions, be sure to apply if you don't have any experience. I'm very excited for AGDQ. I put in my volunteer application. You should too if you want to. Uh, it's, it's a lot of fun. I'm very excited for it. Uh, but I, as, as always, as you know, I don't like to keep you waiting for our first run of the night. So we're gonna dive right into our first run, which is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge Arcade Any Percent with Krennan. Take it away. All righty, folks. It is great to be here uh, virtually <laughs> for, <laughs> for, for, for the topics. Uh, we've been, it's been about a year since Shredder's Revenge has come out, and uh, this is a very interesting time for Shredder's Revenge as the new DLC did just drop, uh, which means that we've got a bunch of changes uh, to the characters, but we're going to be keeping it nice and simple tonight. We're going to be playing as uh, one of my favorite turtles, Leonardo. We're going to be playing as on OK difficulty. This is just your standard. And uh, man, because we got that DLC where you can choose from a number of different palettes, it's very, very fun. Uh, and we're going to be choosing the nice 2003 uh, turtle skin for tonight. That's the one I grew up with and I still really enjoy the series, so I guess we're ready to go. Let's get into it. All right. Absolutely. All right, so, you know, uh, as usual, we're gonna check what's on the news, but uh, we're gonna skip what's happening. I'll give you a quick overview of what's happening. Basically, Bebop here, he's after uh, Krang's head, which happens to be in the Channel 6 studio, and I guess we're ready to start, you know, Shredder's gonna give us a little bit of a taunt, and oh my gosh, we're getting started. So, just, uh, going away here. <laughs> we are, uh, you know, this is a nice little, uh, comeback from Turtles in Time. It's a, it's a nostalgia trip, what can I say? It's got everything that you could want in a Turtles beat-em-up, but there's a lot of new tech as well. Uh, the biggest thing in this game is that we have meter that we're gonna gain by hitting and comboing enemies. As long as we're not hit by them, we're gonna be good to go. And um, then we're gonna be able to use our meter to build up supers and defeat uh, these foot soldiers really quickly. And there's just, there's, there's a lot going on. And uh, Leo's pretty gosh darn good at it. So we got our uh, nice little uh, interactables going on as well with the little cameras. We got a little nice little scenes here in Channel 6. The foot soldiers, you know, they work out. They like to cook. They like to do their sit-ups. They like to get hit into the wall by, uh, by Leonardo with his standard shoulder back. Now, here's a nice little uh, thing coming up. We got our introduction to our sword foot. They're kind of difficult to deal with, but uh, we can hit them out of the sky with our shoulder bash. And these guys, they got, they're really ruining Channel 6. I don't know what April's gonna do after this. I hope that she still has a job. <laughs> you know, it, you, we'll find out because we've done a lot here. Oh, and, the, and there's Vernon. Vernon. I hope you're in the next DLC. I, I, I was hoping for him. All right. And Lose foot. Oh, the, the suit! No! No, not the suit! Oh, well. Oh. So we also have a little dodge roll that we are able to, to do for avoiding enemies. Luckily, he's not doing much here. I'm gonna just take the little shot, and he's... No, not not the quickest fight, a little casual, but that's all right. Still on pace for the sub hour. <laughs> 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 all right. So 
it looks like uh, Rocksteady is going to be our next boss. Uh, they're trying to find all the pieces of Prang. They're trying to, uh, you know, find all the pieces to Exodia to, you know, to bring Prang back. I think that's kind of the idea. And this this game does take place right. They stole my wheel. Ah, Donnie's in it. Donnie's really not going to be happy with this. I, always the turtle van. Absolutely. So this is a little power pizza. You got to see something similar in Turtles in Time. They brought it back. But we're going to bring it back to those foot hinges as well. We got the little axe soldiers. They have a lot of HP, but they attack pretty slow. We got some more nice interactables, and you can see that, man, Channel 6, you gotta say, they did a lot of marketing for uh, for, the, for the foot. You see all those posters <laughs> with Bebop, man. Uh, I really put some time and effort into this. Alrighty. So this, that is Leonardo's uh, Spin Slash. It's one of his very un like unique moves. Everybody has kind of a somersault slice, but he's got a special one. Want to kill those uh, foot as they go by. Otherwise, you gotta wait till they're on the other side of the screen. We're just gonna do a fly to work here. All right, we did build up the meter here. These guys can go down pretty fast. So speaking of uh, patch notes, that uh, standing special that we're doing with uh, Leo kind of makes a whirlwind around him. That used to do a total of 10 damage, now it does 12. And it has, or 8 damage, now it does a total of 12. And that extra damage has made it way more useful uh, in this run. Throws have actually gotten faster too. We're just gonna head down here. So we're still trying, still trying to figure out some of the the routing for this section, but this is the first real speed run tech, and hopefully we'll get it. We're gonna get this infinity pizza, which allows us to do as many supers as we want, and we're gonna bring that into the boss fight. And there we go. <laughs> nice and easy. Oh, very quick. All right. So this episode three is where we get to see why this particular game has one of the best OSTs. And I think it got at least some awards for best OST of the year. It has so many different genres of music. And just it just works so well. So some weird tech about this particular level. The only time that the screen is going to scroll is when all of the items and things are off the screen. So if we get hit by a cone, let's say, uh, we're gonna be losing like three seconds or something crazy like that. So that's why we're, we're we're hanging out here on the bottom for the most part and just trying to defeat the foot as quickly as we can without. <laughs> Uh, any hit by any sense. This level does look really fun, though. Oh, there, that was my first throw. There'll be about three more in the <laughs> in the now, run. Now, wait a minute. I thought we discussed two. Oh, okay. Uh, well, well. But, you know, we can bend the rules a little bit, I guess. <laughs> A little bit of these fly bots. They look a little bit strange uh, since the past. Jotemu they're, they're, is, is work. They're working on it. They're working on it. All right. So here comes uh, the turtle tenderizers. There's just rock steady. He's throwing grenades at us. It's kind of a little bit of what we're going to be seeing in the future. But unfortunately, we can't deal any damage to him. Just gotta wait. And we found ourselves a nice little safe spot so we can enjoy the music. Mm -hmm. All right, back 
yapping. Just gonna go fill a couple of motorbikes. Alright. So, every single time that you hear Leonardo say deep breath, we are doing uh, a taunt. And what that does is it provides us one meter when we don't have one to begin with. There's another use of that spin slash, does three damage in the air, plus that one dive kick to defeat that enemy. We're gonna be using another super coming up. No, no, no! Oh. Enemies getting away from us here. But sometimes it just makes sense to like get out of uh, the fray, do a taunt, and then come back. So, once again, there's a little bit of a patch note where uh, all of the taunts have been kind of nerfed. They didn't want, uh, I guess, players to just sit around and start taunting and then attacking, so Leo's taunt is pretty much the same as it used to be, which is good. Oh boy, we are getting hit though, so we're not building up meter, but at least... There we go. Alright, that was a pretty, pretty decent Turtle Thunderizer. He stayed on the right side, that's what we want like to see. Alright, so we're going back to the zoo. If uh, anyone remembers the 1987 series, I think uh, they go to the zoo in episode two or so. We're gonna be seeing a lot of those type of enemies here too. Nice little hop there. So uh, we have all of these kind of whip foot soldiers. They want to be Simon Belmont, I guess, from Castlevania. But uh, we're not going to let them do that. They were just pretenders. So we got these nice little cone interactables. We're going to be making good use of them as well. Uh, not for this particular level, but later on. They do two damage each. And uh, that does more than a regular damage slash, which is kind of crazy. But that, there we have it. Oh man, hole covers. In my face. Luckily, we're not playing gnarly though. Uh, if uh, we were playing gnarly, that would have taken about a third of my health. Oh my god! I was about to say I really like the difficulty names in this game. Uh, it's very good. Yeah, gnarly is actually very much a challenge and it's a completely different uh speed run from this this is really all about optimizing the levels while gnarly is about optimizing boss fights because my god bosses have so much extra health uh in gnarly oh gosh Whoa. <laughs> i got stuck all right we got our warthogs and uh rhinos I guess we, we should know who let them out. Hmm. And believe it or not, the worst enemy in this game, they're not the foot soldiers, they're not just the Triceratons, it's the monkeys. The monkeys and their random banana shenanigans. So here we go. <laughs> These are the enemies I was talking about before. Bananas. The, the Rodneys. They just, you know, they're, you know, Shredder's way of knowing what's going on when he's not at home. Oh! The, the. All right, that one might be Simon Belmont. This guy's kind of nice Halloween special. Mm -hmm. Want that pizza? All right, moving on here. We got Dirtbag and Ground Chuck. I don't even know who these guys are. They're definitely not from the first season of Turtles 1987. There's so many uh, references to the 1987 series that are just, you almost can't believe that they added them in. 
But there's just so many of them. Oh my gosh, that's a one cycle. That is incredibly good. Yeah, woo. A nice combination. Alrighty. Go! Ooh, building up some meter here. We are in Rat King territory. I really love Rat King as a character, especially the IDW series. He's just, just mind, he just minds his own business mostly, right? <laughs> yeah, another banger of a track. I think I might have. The one thing we got to be careful in this level is not to let these foot ninjas stay too close to the train because you, you think that getting hit by a train would do a lot of damage, but no, it only does one damage in this game. So they could just hang down there at the bottom all day and just ruin your day. Oh my Amazing. god. Amazing. <laughs> one damage train. Yep. All right. Now that we're in the sewers, of course we're gonna have mousers everywhere. And they just want they just wanna chomp. But luckily we got ourselves a nice little pizza from a vending machine. It feels like it's Japan, even though it's just New York. You can find all sorts of cool stuff in vending machines in Japan. Full meals. <laughs> So I'm just gonna combo this guy to build my meter this time around instead of taunting. Fun that way. All right, and here we go. We have the the, the mother mousers. Oh boy. Oh, and sushi. All right. <laughs> that one played nicely. He could have gone and taunted me, but that's, you know, there's a little bit of RNG when your taunt isn't quite fast enough to handle it. And oh. Uh, uh, okay, got him. A little scary. All right. we'll slide here. So as the camera rolls here, we're going to do another taunt. Okay, this is a little bit of a problem. All right, well, we've got rid of the mother mouser there. The thing is about this particular... About these ma the mother mousers, if it does, if it creates a spawn, there's a sprite limit for how many mousers that can be on screen. So that's why the other one didn't appear yet. All right, this is a nice little two cycle setup. He's gonna come to the top here, and we're gonna deal with these little rats that are random. All right, we're just do a little. Oh. Little sidestep there. All right, nice little two cycle. That's the easiest way to take Rat King out. Unfortunately, we can't go any faster than that with uh, with Leo or most of the characters because he just likes to stay up there on his little tank or his little. Uh, you know, we we ruined that that in uh, in Turtles in Time, his little uh, sewer ship. So he, he wanted a little bit of revenge, but we just didn't let him. So that's how you really know it's a, it's a, you know, it's in the the continuity of the video game, which is amazing. I love that Dotemu did that. All right. Hopefully we'll build enough meter here. Right on me? Not quite. Okay. I'm trying to use uh, his Leo standing super there to do some additional damage. But that's okay. Alright. I was telling Nicole that's a little earlier that I, I went out shopping with my daughter earlier today and she was just going crazy. She's three years old. She doesn't know any better. She was just pushing the cart as quickly as she could. 
Yeah, that's kind of what ha what Leo is doing right now with it. Just generally, which but... I still think is the cutest thing. Man, the, no, save the CRTs. We need those. Oh, I don't care if it's 1987. Oh, it just pains me. Gone forever. Oh. A little, a little fly guys here. Little fly. There's gonna be a time where children don't know what CRTs are, and I fear for this day. Uh, uh. A little bit slow here, but that's okay. All right, let's see if we get lucky here. <laughs> So we're gonna be using these little mousers. We're gonna be punching them up. Once again, try to get some more meter because there's another spider right there. Oh, it's like a wall master from Legend of Zelda. <laughs> Did that foot soldier like appear on me? That's one weird thing with this. Leo is very good at juggling enemies, so doing that instead of taunting is definitely the way to go. All right, so for Tempestra, we also have a nice little quick kill. A uh, G, I forgot the dive supers were nerfed. Uh, <laughs> it's sad. Oh no. So their range is almost nothing now. Uh, so, uh, I guess we're gonna be seeing Toka and Razar this time. Alright, it's just, you know, they just got, they, they wanted some screen time. I can't blame them for it. They belong, they, they deserve more screen time. Maybe being their own bosses in this game. But nope, they're just part of Tempestra. It's <laughs> a cool looking boss, though. All right, we're gonna play. We're gonna blame the new patch for that one. <laughs> yep, season two episodes for season seven. So once again, Dotemu just using all of the references. Incredible. All right. So we got ourselves a fun little uh, episode here on the the rooftops. I like to call this. This is very uh, similar to Golden Axe. We got a lot of pits going on here. And uh, we're going to be using them, that's for sure. Right? Use that thin super here. Oh man, the poop. The poop cruiser? Who would work? Who, who, who's going who's gonna to drive that terrible vehicle? And they even had time to graffiti the wall. The thing is about mechanical robot, a uh, mechanical robot army is you can really just have them do it as they want. Just wait for these guys to all show up. More slide action. all sit to those single super that would not have worked in the last time so it's, it's like new patches and playing and speedrunning a modern game it's a double-edged sword because you love to have new things to play with but then when the things that you worked on so much don't work oh my gosh <laughs> but we're still in the phase we're, we're still trying to figure it out nice back yo you're doing good work here use of that cone. We're going to be using a lot more cones in this uh, particular level, too. All right, there we go. Nice. So we like to, I like to hit that one as he's spawning in, so we get the instant screen scroll. All right, here we go. These, uh, these cones, they're our friends. They're coming with us to the boss fight. If anyone played uh, Deus Ex, 
Uh, there's like a little boss where you can bring a turret in. <laughs> These cones are basically those turrets. <laughs> Alright, well, I got hit by the phone one. We're, we're, we're just waiting here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Do your thing. Ah. Uh, well, they didn't cooperate the best this time around. What what can you expect? You want cooperation from Rocksteady and Bebop? That, that, that just doesn't happen. <laughs> doesn't matter what series it is. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> That's fine. Yeah, ideally, you want to have those cones and you want them to like come over to the right side. I thank all the turtles runners in chat who are providing the additional <laughs> color commentary. It's really fun to see. Oh, another. This is definitely, you know, this is like Sonic level. It's an amazing soundtrack. Okay. Now this brings, yeah, this, this soundtrack brings me back to the 90s. Simpler time. So this is the our second and not quite our last auto scroller. There are t ways to lose time on this and save time. One of them is definitely uh, removing these enemies as quickly as we can. That's number one. Oh, it's speaking. Of you know Turtles game? I think we already mentioned Turtles games and places to stay that are just safe. This game is all mm -hmm. about the bottom of the screen. If you're at the bottom of the screen, and uh, this was true for a long time, you just can't get hit. <laughs> just stay at the bottom of the screen. You're good to go. Perfect. And at least... They might have gotten rid of or done something up to the shell van, but at least we got the blimp. Blimp is still around. I remember the... You get to see that at the end of uh, Hyperstone Heist and Turtles in Time where they're just on the blimp. They're just having a lot of good old time. So there's three enemies that come out of here, but uh, just... They're pushovers. The number of purple foot soldiers on level seven was pretty high, considering like you think that the difficulty spike would have uh, happened, but I guess the mall was, you know, it was, and the rooftops were pretty difficult. So we're getting like a nice little chill stage before uh, the the next few episodes where the difficulty really does start to increase. Oh, okay. Let's hope we get some good RNG here. We don't want him to become Storm Eagle. And he's becoming Storm Eagle. <laughs> no. <sighs> All right. Just not, just not again. Just, once was enough, right? That was enough. Right? 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 Okay, good. That was one, one Storm Eagle pattern too many. One is too many. Ouch, my wings! <laughs> and speak. Oh, oh, there's Wing Nut. Twitch, 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 twitch. Alrighty. It looks like they, uh, the foot soldiers have gotten themselves some weapons from Home Depot. We got a little, some, <laughs> some plunger crossbows. Oh man, I don't even know what these are from. Oh, and there's some sushi there. 
Ah, uh, but yeah, it's not pizza. Can't be. Good. We also got yeah. these little spear foot soldiers. They're able to guard, but uh, as long as we defeat them pretty quickly, it's fine, right? Alright, they're gone. Alright, we got another little power pizza. Just enjoy. It looks like everything's open today. The punk frogs are uh, enjoying their Tony Island. Kind of like the, the theme park. Theme for the park. Alright, we did get both of those with the, the dive super. Colored me a little bit surprised. All right, and these foot soldiers are probably the most annoying in the game because they like to jump every time you hit them and, and they have four HP. So if you don't defeat them in a single hit, but luckily if you deal with them as they're coming in, not too bad. Gotta optimize, we optimize that a little bit. And that's a uh, Leo's backup. Also, if you hit them against the wall, pretty fast. Got a little pot fire hydrant here. Deep breath. All right, let's pop a balloon. We're gonna power charge up. Now we can progress. I don't know why there's a little uh, little puzzle there in a turtle beat him up, but there it is. Oop. Fly guys. Once again, we're getting rid of these guys so that we can move the screen. All right, here we go, Leatherhead. So the, the strategy against Leatherhead is to just beat him up. No, no. We're, we're going to try to go from side to side with them. So it kind of messes him up. So then he doesn't know where we are. And there we go, single cycle. So he didn't have, he can usually go into those sewers, but no, we're not letting him do that today. Actually saved time versus my PB. I'm a little bit surprised. I haven't been too much, I haven't been doing too much de-rusting, so. It looks like everything went uh, according to plan. All right, and this is another banger of a track. This one's hot favorite. All right, so we're gonna be using uh, Leo's tackle here. He actually has a hitbox uh, above his head, which we've been using all along. I just haven't mentioned it yet. That's pretty good there. Spin Slash. These missiles are also another foreshadowing of something that's going to come pretty soon. Believe it or not, we don't have to defeat these uh, foot soldiers. So we're going we're to be passive. We're going to let them go right by. All right. And now these enemies, they have a ton of HP. They also have high frames in certain situations. But uh, we're going to group them all up. And they also spawn two more when they're defeated. They're, they're, they're tough. All right, we're gonna go. <laughs> we missed everyone. <laughs> well, I guess that strategy doesn't work. Oh, well. Doesn't work all the time. <laughs> all right. Number of times bitten by a mouse or this run one. Not the CRT, no. I'm gonna actually keep this one around again. Hi 
Goon build meter up real quick with Leo. His um, final slash does three hits. And uh, when you have two enemies like that, you just do so many hits that uh, you're just going to be ready to go with another super meter. Moving on. Another secret power pizza. We're going to be using all of them. And one of them is going to be even more potent than the others. And now we're just waiting around. We're doing some flips. We're going to let the missile uh, handle that one, I guess. Nope. All right. That's two. All right. I think I'm just going to go for it. Maybe not. <laughs> I guess we're taunting earlier. You know, I will taunt before uh, Metalhead. I will respect him. So the goal here is to get him grouped up with the Mousers, so we can do gain additional meter. And unfortunately, we got a monkey there. The missile is right in front of the mouser. So usually you can get that missile and you can hit Metalhead with it, but we did not get lucky that time around. Oh, oh no, they got the legs of Exodia. I really love what they do with the foreground here with that little dinosaur. That's oh, very cool. We got the old payphones too. Right, we're just gonna do something like this. Hold on. Behind the poster. Alright. Nice little safe spot. <laughs> and they did some real work on us. Alright. Bop, bop, bop. So we can hit these guys before they actually get their shields up. These guys, hopefully. Oh, oh dear. I got greedy. I just said to myself I wasn't gonna taunt. <laughs> and here we are. We're just we're, we're fighting these guys for reals. Oh man, fighting guys for reals is something you don't want to do in a speed run. <laughs> So I would love to dive super all of these guys and instantly uh, defeat them, but unfortunately, a new patch. Well, we're not doing that today, but uh, well, sometimes, sometimes slash super is very good. <laughs> oh boy. All right, here we go. <laughs> So here we're going to be doing some slides. We're going to be sending them all these folks back to Dimension X where they belong. That's we're going to be doing that before we grab that Infinity Pizza. Uh, 
because uh, we got a we, we got a special order for Zorax here. <laughs> so just like uh, Rock City in Episode Two, Zorax uh, got a nice little pizza party. All right, now that we're getting into these later levels, we're going to be seeing a lot more taunting. And I mean a lot more taunting. All these enemies have so much HP. Oh. That dive super didn't play nice. Freeman from Half-Life. They all want to be him. Alright, moving on. This is a nice little piece of that. We can use our little spin slash, bring those enemies in. Mistime it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. Well, normally you'd be able to spin slash there and then... Uh, the guy would go into the barrel, and then he'd defeat all the other boss, the other enemies too. Well, well then, uh, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm just gonna be quiet now. <laughs> enemies do show up a, a little bit differently now too. This patch, they like, they either appear slower or faster. It's Almost random, like why, why they do what they do. Okay, 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 okay. Oh boy, falling apart. <laughs> Up to this part, we were doing pretty good. All right, there, there's a nice little ice trap. Do those uh, intervals some time also. It's good to know that enemies are spawning from the sky sometimes, and you're able to react accordingly. So once again, we're, we're, uh, we're using Spin Slash here. Make things go a little bit quicker. I let these guys jump on over. Uh, of course. I think I'm just gonna grab this. Been a little <laughs> learning things on the fly here. <laughs> so these uh, little guys, they only uh, turn over with certain attacks. For Leo, it's his slide and his dive kick. All right, so here we go. We got Baxter for whatever he wants revenge too. I don't know what what with all these people in their revenge. Can we just have a pizza? This is also a little bit different. It's like I don't know why it didn't hit me there. Uh, hopefully we'll get the one cycle. All right, got it. If he goes in his chair and does his laser thing, it's like 20 seconds. We just... We're already on a time, time crunch here. Uh-oh. 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 Well. Well, Krang's got his body back. Oh, no. Oh, no. All right, here we go. This is probably the longest level in the game. And uh, now that we're in Dimension X, we have rock soldiers aplenty. And uh, 
Rock soldiers, they just have a ton of health. It's almost unprecedented. We are playing on okay difficulty, so getting hit does lose us our meter if it's not fully charged. See if we can get lucky with this group. No way. <laughs> Dive super. It just doesn't. Oh, it just doesn't work. All right. So here we're gonna do a little bit of a, a patient game. Nice dodge. That little pin super instead. Okay. All right. Well, we got one of them. All right, just have enough time to haunt here. So we're gonna actually be manipulating where these robots are gonna show up. Want them right here? Not too bad. <laughs> Didn't see that one. All right. Now, if it's a beat-em-up, you got to have an elevator stage. Here we are. All right. Well, at least they're on me, so... Second guessing everything because the, <laughs> the, the the taunt timings are slightly different and the supers are slightly different. <laughs> oh boy, here we go. Here's General Try. This is uh, Frank's always right hand man. We already got our meter, so we're going to go in that respect. So we just do not want to get hit by them. Ah, nice. Nice little one cycle. He's not going back on the wall there. Mm, mm, mm. I'm just going to build up the meter here. be able to use our spin slash here. Hopefully we're in good position. Yes. Very nice. All right. This is all about taunting and finding the right place. Actually, uh, that's another small change to, uh, to the game. The Dive supers will now turn over those robots as well. Seems good, especially in survival mode when you can have a lot of them show up at once. All right, here we go. Another little throwback in this fight coming up. We're hitting here on the bottom so that we skip a cycle of rockets. And oh my gosh, is that the tank from Team and Team? Four turtles in time. That was my, one of my favorite bosses. I thought it was so cool. Also showed up in Battletoad. Maybe the Battletoad did it first. Alrighty. That was also a pretty decent stage after all. Alright, moving into episode 14. Mm -hmm. We're going further into Dimension X. And this is our last auto stroller, I promise. <laughs> and, um. <laughs> I, I just hope I don't get hit by any of these rocks. It would be kind of sad if I did. They're going so slow. Oh, I mean, maybe that one's going a little. There we go. Easy peasy. 
little damp. A little damp. Luckily, Slash is not as notorious a uh, boss as in Turtles in Time. Favorite enemies coming up. All right, it's pizza time. Oh gosh, the xenomorphs from beyond. So what I'm doing there, we're slashing them in the air to put them in sunlock, so that we can get them with the super. They come. Oh, hanging down here on the bottom. They can't see me. Because I'm on the bottom of the screen. <laughs> Secret. Alright. We're going to get ourselves another Infinity Pizza. We're going to do that little trick again. Where'd he go? What the? <laughs> Alright. Oh, no. <laughs> Can I blame them the new Dive Super, please? <laughs> Oh boy. All right, we got a little flower here, a little flower power. Wow. They really know how to just stay out of distance. Call them footsies in the foot clan. Oh, probably hit him three times. So. Alright, we got him. Nice little Indiana Jones reference. There's a little bit of a uh, statue there. The rock. No. All right. Well, hopefully we'll gain some meter for the next part. Yeah. Back here. A little taunt here before slash. The uh, turtle wannabe from Dimension X. Gonna run away for a little bit. Get a little pawn He's probably gonna come right at us. All right, well that hit at least. No, we did. <laughs> the 15 second throw. Oh no! Flash. I said no, no throws in this run. I've been trash. I've been lied to. Sub hour still possible. <laughs> oh, there's crying. Right so close. Wow, a useful throw. You don't see too many of those. <laughs> All right, we're gonna take damage on purpose to take that enemy out quickly. Go. Gonna rip these guys up, nice and easy. Got another one. We want this guy to not charge me. And he didn't. Nice. Uh, well. 
Spin Splash is not as good as the Dive Super Easy. Shredder with the ooze. Man, how did he get all that ooze? A lot of ooze. Must have gotten it from a cereal box. Get these Triceraton to hopefully play nice. They play nice. Now nah, Triceraton to play nice. Nice. Alright, okay. Nice little spike trap here. We're getting close to the end. Alright, we're gonna try to group them all together. Not gonna work too well. <laughs> How this group of pizza monsters work out. I mean, well enough. All right, moving right along here. Okay. Gotta use that corner to get your free hits in for the Sandy Super. Got a little couple of Mousers coming in from the side. Just gonna hit this barrel run away. All right, more Mousers are here to play. Nice. We all, we want to keep that pizza. That that that's our uh, that's our uh, safe. For Josh. All right. Oh, no. One straggler. All right, here we go. We're going to dodge through the pizza to pick it up, do the dive kick, and now we have almost uh, full the full time with this power pizza. And uh, they spent so much time putting Crane together. It's going to be fun to see how short it takes to take them apart. Version was like 20 seconds. <laughs> All right. You gotta have. Oh. Okay, he's ready for revenge. There it is again, revenge. Luckily, we have a we have some tech. We're just gonna wait. Um. Oh my gosh. Huh? Oh boy. Which one is he? Okay, we got him. He's the, the middle one. He's the one I'm playing right now. Oh boy, he's playing mean. He's playing mean. He's really trying to get the revenge. All right, we got him. There are uh, ways to go a little footer on this uh, that one, but it is okay. You haven't seen the last of me. Oh dear. All right, so we can still do the sub hour. It is, it's like just there. Just there. All right, here is the Statue of Tyranny. I hope you all did your salute. So this is what we're gonna be doing called uh, We're gonna be slash canceling here. So after his third slash, I'm gonna be double tapping forward. Oh boy. I don't think I'm gonna get him with this round. 
It's not gonna hit. That's a fact. All right, pretty good. All righty. Welcome to town to Super Shredder. Luckily, we can taunt here uh, during this cutscene before we go down into the hole. And here we go. Just like the beginning of Turtles in Time. Big Apple, 3 a.m. And the neutrinos are here too with their nice little fancy car. And it uh, looks like the Statue of Tyranny has been defeated and you can see the, the head in the background. Now here's Super Shredder. What our goal is to do is we want him to go into overdrive. And the way we're gonna do that is to stay above or below him. And then we kind of confuse him. We basically want no grab. No grab Shredder. When we were talking about grabs before, yep, that applies to him too. Absolutely none. All right, he did his three. We're ready to dive super and whale on him now that he went into overdrive. Yep. Nice, we got the taunt off. Good positioning them. All right, here we go. Oh, we missed him though. All right, get the taunt and hopefully it's fast enough. It is, nice. All right, taking a little damage, it's all right. It will have to be a four cycle, but it is a sub hour, so I'm Revenge. happy. <laughs> Possibly. Yeah, Will. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, and that's Shredder's Revenge. Done in, uh, I have 59.25 on my Get split. So I am incredibly happy. Thanks, everybody, from the Turtle community in the chat. Of course, everybody who's who's ran this and brought it to where it is today. I know we got some major, little bit of setbacks from the from the patch, but we also got some new content too. We got a couple new characters and we got a whole new survival mode to play through. So uh, I think this game is probably on sale. You can buy it on Steam probably for 30% off or so. It's a fun little game and uh, definitely worth a few playthroughs. And uh, the speed run I do feel is Incredible. And of course, the punk rods, they saved the day. Oh, no. No, it's not. It was Leonardo. It wasn't. I don't know. Well, <laughs> there we go. Very good. If All people right. wanted to find you, do you stream That's a lot? Where can they find you? Revenge. Maybe we'll get a sequel to this game, but we also know that we're also getting a new 3D Turtles game at some point. Uh, it'll be about the last Ronin. So that is very, very exciting. And that trailer just dropped, I think it was last month. And it wasn't even a trailer, there was a teaser trailer. It's not even the real one. So we'll see what happens there. <laughs> Thank you again for showing this off. Oh, my pleasure. I, I, I love this game so much and it, it is very very fun yep if you guys uh love like this run or any of the other turtles runs you can definitely find me on my page we do a lot of turtles stuff we do hyperstone we do turtles in time we play this game i'll probably dabble into the other turtles games at some point even the the strange 3d one um but that's uh, what we're doing. I also do a, some other other games in Castlevania and uh, some fighting games too. And all of this was done on this arcade stick. Is it or not? I love this game with the arcade stick because there's a lot of mashing involved for those attacks to come out as fast as they do. So. I know when we were hanging out before the run, I was listening to the sounds of the stick and I loved it. I love hearing the arcade stick. Yeah, so uh, I got that one and then I uh, have a recent uh, grab, like Castlevania hitbox. Very nice. And uh, I use that for fighting games. And I was thinking about using it for this one, but I've been, I've been playing this 
with this arcade pit for so long. It's just been uh, the trusty uh, tool of choice. It's not over yet. Well, yeah, thank you again. I, I really liked watching that round. It was a lot of fun. All right. The little chompy guys are so cute. <laughs> oh, man. Music just gets you. What can I say? Teenage All right, well, that's Ninja the Ninja Ninja Turtles Ninja Shredder's Revenge. Revenge. Completed in under an hour. Very happy with that. Uh, again, so. Congratulations. Very happy. All right. Well, I'll catch yeah. you all. Later on Have some a point. lovely night. Hopefully in person at some point. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you have a great night. Thank you again, Twitch chat. We're going to take a quick break, but first I want to remind you that GDQX will be live from TwitchCon October 20th through the 22nd. The event will take place on the Games Done Quick stage as well as streamed live on our Twitch channel. Use exclamation point GDQX in Twitch chat to find out more info and to check out the games list. Very excited about that. And also your subs, Prime Gaming subs, gift subs, and bits cheered on the GDQ Twitch channel help support Games Done Quick Hotfix. So please consider subscribing if you enjoy the daily speedrunning content. It means a lot to us and we can keep doing stuff like this, which is really, really fun. Now, we're going to take a quick break before our next run. So stand up, stretch, get some water, you know, follow your heart, and we will be right back. Welcome on back to As Seen on TV. I'm Nicole Goodnight. I hope you had a fantastic break. We are back with more turtle action. Uh, this time, we're going to be doing Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Arcade, any percent one CC with Elrock, and I'm not gonna keep you waiting. We're just gonna, you know me by now. I don't keep you waiting. We're just gonna go right in. Elrock, go ahead for it. Go for it. Take it away. Follow your heart. <laughs> Appreciate it, Nicole. Thank you. <laughs> Hope everyone's having a lovely Thursday night, and thank you, GDQ, for having me on this latest edition of Hotfix. You can see here on the screen, we have the somewhat recently released TMNT Cowabunga collection. That is how I'll be playing tonight's game. For a little bit of history, uh, I actually played this game at AGDQ 2020, which up until this year was the last in-person AGDQ event. Looking very forward to AGQ 2024, but that's the future. For today, uh, this is essentially going to be a run back of a run that I had during that event where I lost the 1cc. I was very happy to be running the game, but I really wanted a vendetta about that one. So today is going to be the opportunity to do so and hope you all get to see it. So we're going to load up TMNT here. We get to pick our character prior to the start of the game. We'll go ahead and click Dawn, and it's going to take us right into the arcade screen. You see it has the big expanded thing there get this not copyrighted version of the theme. Let that play out, pop our quarter in. Once I press start and it goes to the first cut scene, that'll be when time starts, so ready on time. Okay, all right, gonna be three, two, one, go. Good luck. Thank you. So Donatello is the best character, and it's not particularly close, just to start us off. I have cleared this game with Leo and Mike, but those runs were substantially harder. That was very rude. I really didn't appreciate the game doing that. So anyway, foot soldier behavior in this game is incredibly erratic. It's what makes actual speed runs of this game really hard to formulate correctly because the enemies just kind of do what they want most of the time. Sometimes they'll just react really defensively and cost you some time, like that guy right there who just sidestepped this jump special attack. You're going to be seeing a lot of this attack here where you do a short hop with a swing. We just call that special. It's a one-hit KO on any foot soldier, so as a speed strat, it's optimal. Get rid of that guy, move on to our first boss. So here we have Rocksteady. There was actually a quick kill found not long after my 2020 run that I'm going to go for here. Do these meaty dive kick setups. Very good. Don does the slow walk to the window. So Shredder's kidnapped April, and that's really sad. We're gonna see if we can get her back. That guy got clocked by a manhole cover, very good. You love to see it. Nah, that's unfortunate, I didn't want that to happen. Okay, so here's where the speed strats in this game actually start becoming really important. This game ups the internal difficulty known as the rank every two minutes that you haven't taken a death. 
So through most of these stages, I'm going to be doing my best to make sure I can kill as many enemies as I can as quickly as I can. And a lot of that really comes down to their cooperation. Speaking of speed strats, we have a really cool one coming up here called Josie Skip. I believe the earliest footage of this was from as far back as 2008. But it was resurfaced in 2019 by a runner now known as Stuart Bushido, but at the time it was known as Josie. So we still call it Josie Skip. We'll be mashing our diagonal buttons all the way through the building. Nice to know even TMNT can be a dirty speed game, right? Uh, it's a little awkward in the positioning. There we go. So yeah, we get Bebop spawning on goodness knows what. We don't even know where he is. He doesn't know where we are. We're just going to keep doing this. Move on down. With our glitch screen, we're going to jump in the hole and the floor doesn't exist. And now we get to move on. Oh, okay. course, a suggestion. So we've got two enemies that popped up there. That means our rank is good. There actually is a safe space here in this stage, but I'm not actually using it because it's slower. If you go to the very bottom pixel of the platform that you're standing on, it's actually completely safe from enemies. We call it Magic Pixel. It will be used at some point in this stage, but we don't need it for foot soldiers. Mousers die in one hit, so we're just going to do that. Hit, hit, hit. And as mentioned before, as you can see, Donatello with his range just monopolizes the, the tech of this game. He's just so strong. He can outspace so many enemies. Uh, don't love this. Okay, I goofed a little bit. Yeah, I got some bad patterns, and we gotta play it. Yep. Okay, so I lost a little bit of time there. That was a little scrambly. So we're gonna go ahead and hit this, and hit this. Just take care of these mouse before I can move on, so I gotta recollect myself. Hit that guy, hit those guys. See, if I'd gone faster, those two uh, knife soldiers wouldn't have been there. Also, this is a ninja game. Here's a wall jump. Unfortunate. Oddly enough, the damage we're taking isn't really the end of the world. I'll explain why here we get to the next stage. Here's Magic Pixel. Stand under the ladder. Here comes Baxter. On Magic Pixel, enemies can't see us. So those monsters that are spawning, they're not going to be able to try to approach us. We can just kill Baxter in eight hits. And we get to move on. Iconic laugh there. So... Here's the reason this is the 1cc category. The 80% category in this, in, in this game involves a lot of death abuse, but 1cc only allows us one death. Our intention of utilizing that is we're going to drop the rank by taking a single death. I didn't want that to happen, but that's okay. We're going to do it right about here. Took two enemies with us. Good value. Uh, yeah, you're just wasting my time. Please just quit doing that. So, by taking a death, that's actually going to give us less enemies in these upcoming segments. Like, for example, these sword guys, there'd be three of them normally, but now there's only two. That's really unlucky. Haven't seen that before. I've seen a dodge before, but never like the high jump. Take out that. The significance of the rank, the rank drop in this stage in particular will hopefully allow us to do a quick kill on the Bebop Rock Study fight. Let's go for it. Excellent. Yeah. It's... <laughs> I make that look easy. It's definitely not. <laughs> the timing you get on the sits is huge. And if you didn't, if I didn't take that death, that wouldn't have been possible. They take five hits to knock down as opposed to three. So you can't loop them properly. Okay, so on to the highway. We'll let this car come in and be our friend. It's going to hit that guy. Oh, uh, you... Sure. And sidestep out of our way. So from this point on, we can't take a death to the rest of the game if we want to be able to fulfill the 1cc. Just to point that, just to add the challenge to it. That's not what I wanted to have happen, but it didn't take that much damage. That's okay. Uh, yeah, okay. I, I messed up my movement there a little bit, but that's okay. He still got hit by the car. See if I can dive kick combo. Damn, didn't miss it. I just discovered this week you can actually kill that, that Rodney there in just a loop of two dive kicks. It's really hard to do, and I've only got to do it twice, but it's great. So I always go for it. Get rid of that guy. Take the health. Let these guys get run over. Hadn't gotten five before. That felt good. Da -da. Sorry, the music in this game is so good. I'm going to be humming it a lot. See if I can ride the tire. There we go. 
Oh, sweet. Got the double kill. Okay, so here's some cool tech for this stage. The very top pixel here is invincible to machine gun fire. These helicopters firing at us will actually not be able to hit us as long as I'm on this top pixel. They're not going to be here long, maybe 15, 20 seconds. But it's a nice exploit to have. Just you're completely safe. No worries at all. Here's where things start to get random. We got these three guys coming in. And what I'm hoping for is a fourth one that also is on a skateboard and not another helicopter. Okay, so we got a helicopter. That's unfortunate. Take care of it. Got another one. Sometimes you'll get as many as three of these and you just kind of have to hope for the best. I did not want to miss that. That's okay, though. Okay, so now I have four ground guys. Here's the deal. As you can tell, this is very obviously an auto-scroller. You can also time scam this room. There's a specific loop in the music where the stage ends, and after that point, any enemies that are in the stage are the only enemies you're gonna encounter in the stage. So until that occurs, I'm just gonna try and dodge enemies as much as I can. Because why spawn more enemies is dangerous. Uh, eh, that was a little dice. What was that? If I had knocked that guy completely off screen, that could have been a despawn and might have spawned a helicopter. You do not want helicopters this late in the stage. They drop bombs and they're really, really annoying to have to deal with and they can kill you. So, no thanks. Music loops coming up right about now. Okay, so let's go to work. Okay, I did not want all that hit stun, but thanks. Yeah, they're being annoying. Hang on. The guy with the gun can, in particular can be an issue. He can outrange Donnie, and he's one of the few enemies that can, so... I had to play that a little safer there at the end, because they were being uncooperative. Okay. Not to scare anybody, but now we're at the run killer du jour. The factory is, for my money, the hardest stage in the game. It's a very short stage, but there are as many as five different areas where it can kill the run and that was one of them because I don't normally miss that barrel that was really weird okay oh I got a double despawn sweet also not good okay so this might be in a little bit of trouble we are going to be using magic pixel again it's on this top platform here and this is completely safe I believe this is not the, the fast strat but I'm more than happy to do a safe strat especially at a point like this Get out of here. Okay, so I have a couple of things I need to run point, run uh, safety on. I did not want that to happen. Okay, so get the stuck guy stuck on the barrel. All right, so I'm a little worried because I only have four health. Oh, no. Because this module is going to spawn a bunch of drones that shoot us for two damage at a time. Let me see how many I can kill right away. Okay, five is very good. Mm, I, I want to play safe here. Okay, very good. <laughs> that was really scary. If they shoot me, they do two damage, which is half my current health, and they can cause knockdown situations. Did not want. Just trying to survive at this point. As you can tell, Roadkill Rod needs to die in two dive kicks. Those are the setups I always go for. We've got one guy running in. Don't love that. Whether or not one of those guys will just run on the screen is completely random. You have no control over whether it happens or not. You just have to adapt. Theory have Granitor. Granitor is kind of awful, and there's two different strats you can utilize. You can utilize the safe strat, which I'm doing, which is really easy with Donatello. He just comes right in, you can hit him, and you have more vertical range than he does. Or you can do the fast strat, which is way harder, obviously way faster, but it's uh, I don't really consider it to be marathon safe, and I'd rather show off a good run for you all. Basically, what you're doing for fast strat is you're wiggling from side to side instead of top to bottom, and you're trying to hit him. But it's hard because he can actually outrange you with his melee attack. Like, it can actually just beat out what Donatello's doing, and his hurt box is really small at the center. So sometimes your attack just won't even connect, whereas if you're on top of him or underneath him, you'll always connect. And it's great. What you doing, homie? Okay, there we go. Also, since the ninja game, here's the wall jump. Good fight, all the same. Off we go. Thank you, my Most yellow screen you'll ever see in your life. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so while I'm tearing through the first part of the Technodrome, I'll go into a little bit of history about this game. This game was one of the 
first two TMNT games released, both released in 1989, the other one being the famous slash infamous NES release, which most people will just remember for the dance segment. I personally really appreciate both games for what they have to offer, but this is a hallmark as the first TMNT beat em up of many. We got all these guys. Here I'm just going to be kind of steady waving enemies. Do this. Here's a nice little exploit for you all. Once you get these guys spawned, go to the top pixel, jump the first ice ray, jump the second ice ray, jump the laser beam, and you're home free. Out of there. <laughs> you only have one jump here. Wait till this fifth one falls, jump, and you're set. Pretty safe. You don't have to just go around moving all about unless you want to, but I prefer to play safe. Okay, so here I'm going to try and make sure I can take care of these enemies as they're incoming. Did not want that to happen. Ooh, frisky. <laughs> okay, I'm going to spawn these Rodneys. There's a bunch of them, yes, but they're not that threatening. Their grab can be broken, and they die in two attacks, so it's whatever. Hit that, hit that. These guys I'm more concerned about. And then the hit squad here I'm even more concerned about. Ooh, never seen that guy go off off the grid before. Dude just went straight to the bottom. Okay, that'll deal with all the basic enemies. On to our boss fights to finish out the game. Here we have Trag, which on the surface seems like a very similar fight to Granitor, but it's actually much faster because his hitbox at the center is quite a bit more generous to you than what Granitor's would have been, so you can kind of just do this a bit. And you can kind of just farm this pizza back here until you get hit. Like so. That is the last pizza we'll have for the remainder of the game, though. So I got to kind of be cautious of those. Didn't want that to happen. Okay, now he's on this side. I'm going to switch this to vertical strat, just like I did with Grand Tour. And you can tell he moves really, really fast. So it's actually a pretty quick kill. Like, Trag has some serious walk speed. Get the last bit of the tasties. Move on to our last two. All right, final room of the game. It's going to kick off with the Krang fight. Krang is, to most people, one of the most imposing boss fights in the game, and that does kind of stand to reason. And if you're playing any character that's not Donatello, that definitely checks out. But Donnie gets to play super lame against Krang. As long as you're timing these out and just juking it kind of like I am, he's not going to be able to get past these. He does have a few set, a few frames of eye frames of visibility during this. But, as long as you're willing to just turn and turn about, you're good. Like, he should never get out of it. It is timing-based, as I mentioned, but it's really easy once you've tried it a few times. He does take a lot of hits, and you can't reduce the amount of damage that he takes. Like, no attack I'm doing does more than what I'm doing right now, and that's the same with the Stone Warriors. Whether you hit him with a basic attack or with a special, they'll only do one damage. And I think Krang takes 56 hits, I want to say, 54, 56, thereabouts. Still a good fight, didn't take any damage. All right, on to the, the real silliness. Uh, no hits yet at all. Okay, so here we have Shredder. Pretty iconic fight for most that have seen it. Uh, Shredder's got a defensive boost on today. I'm gonna be playing safe for at least the first little bit. Uh, I didn't want that. Okay, so we're in an interesting spot. I actually am gonna be fighting two Shredders. Uh, I don't want that. Okay, I'm actually going to try something different here. I want to show off this exploit. This fight's gone a little bit off the rails, so bear with me. Oh, no. I switched because this is the fake one, and I want to try to take his helmet off. There we go. Okay. So now we have the real one exposed. What we're going to do is this. I'm going to go all the way to the corner, let the real one chase me over there, and as long as I get the fake one to go against the corner like he's doing now, he'll just keep trying to walk and he won't be able to do anything. He will attack if I get close to him, but as long as I box myself in like this, he won't be able to do anything. He doesn't have access to the mutagen right once the helmet's gone. So I can just 1v1 this Shredder. I'm playing it as safe as I possibly can for now. I'll probably try to go over some damage strats here in a little bit, but they are risky. Okay, very good. There we go. 
Okay, so yeah, special does actually do more damage to him than a basic attack, which is why I'm trying to go for it in some of these loops. There we go. Does three as opposed to one, so you get five damage per cycle rather than three for what I'm doing. Just gotta dodge the Mugen Ray. You can't do anything about it, it's inevitable. Uh, yeah, that's scary. I'm just gonna play it safe from here. Okay, do that, do that, do that, do that, do that. He does have a decent amount of health. He has more if you're all the way ranked up. So if you're trying to get this game deathless, Shredder has something like over 100 health, whereas I think he has 60 if you taken a death. Okay, down to no helmets. And keep hitting him. Oh, there we go. <laughs> all right, time's going to happen on Technodrome up here, and that's going to be... Oh, thank you. That, fight, that last fight was so scary. <laughs> they gave me <laughs> the worst possible pattern to start. I missed a bunch of early hits. Oh, I had to re-coordinate that like crazy. That was... <laughs> the final battle's a heart, punk, heart thumper for sure. <laughs> yeah, but quick thinking. Uh, oh. Yeah, so that was fun. <laughs> this, um, this game is very near and dear to me. I think it's the first game I ever played at an arcade, or if not, it's the first one I certainly remember playing. Played it at Walmart back in Elizabethtown, Kentucky. <laughs> and uh, I still play it to this day. It's been, what, 33, 30, 34 years since it's released, so... It still holds up. It's got some jank to it, but it has a lot of charm. The music's great. It looks like an episode of the TV show, and you can't really knock that. So go ahead and make sure we get our initials in. As always. Whew. And I think that's going to do it for me. Um, not much to shout out. The entire team and T community, of course, crooning for that great run. H2O is about to have a great run right after myself and GDQ for allowing me to do this. I've been wanting to appear on a hotfix for a long time, so thank you so much for the opportunity. And Nicole, thank you for being a great host. Oh, thank you. I was really excited to uh, be able to have you and even more excited when you said you would join. So uh, <laughs> thank worked you. out for both of us. Thank you so much. If people wanted to watch you, where could they find you? Uh, you can find me on any major platforms. It's LRock617. That's my handle on Twitter, Instagram, Twitch. And I think that's it. So yeah, check me out. Awesome. Thank you again. It was really fun to watch. I really appreciate you. Thank you so much, Nicole. Have a great of night, course. everybody. Good night. And Twitch chat. In honor of Hispanic and Latin American Heritage Month, GDQ Hotfix will be hosting a variety of Latin American and Hispanic runners. So tune in this weekend for a special Latin American speedrun showcase on September 16th and 17th, all starting at 1 p.m. Eastern. And, uh, you know, we're going to take another break. So get up, get some more water, drink some water, chat. Do what I don't. Go drink water. Stretch. We'll be back in just a few minutes with more turtles. I will see you soon. Welcome on back to As Seen on TV. I am Nicole Goodnight. How are you all? I hope you had a great second break of the night. If you missed any of our other hot fix shows or past events like Flame Fatales, be sure to check out the VODs on youtube.com slash gamesdonequick. And if you're watching on YouTube, be sure to press the like button on this video and subscribe to the channel. Also, go to twitch.tv slash gamesdonequick if you're interested in looking at our live content. Chat, that's where you are right now. You are here for some more Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles action, and we have got it for you. So let's go on over to Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Turtles in Time Arcade with H2O Happy Dude. Go ahead and take it away. Hello, everybody. This is your favorite bald speedrunner here, H2O Happy Dude, and with my tra traditional twin brother from another mother, Blue Heart. What's up? Hello, hello, hello. So, um... I was kind of hoping that this would be Donnie Appreciation Night, but it turns out that uh, the Shredder's Revenge run was not Donnie, so I'm thoroughly disappointed. Um, we're gonna have we're gonna have the uh, Turtles in Time Arcade Mode, which is essentially on the uh, uh, medium difficulty by default, and we're doing the uh, Cowabunga Collection. Sh shouldn't everyone be running on that? But um, leading up to practice. Uh, I ended up PBing twice for a total combined save of like five and a half minutes. 
So the PB's nice. not looking likely tonight, but we're going to go aim for it. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Well, the last time you said I got this, I PB by like 13 seconds. All right. Okay. So one of the biggest things about this game is that since it's essentially a straight rip of the arcade game, is that if you spam orders like uh, during character creation, uh, the character creation, I got Baldur's Gate on the brain, a character selection, and throughout the course of the game, it'll make make the future levels a lot easier because it's automatically thinking that you're you're panicking and just shoving in quarters into the machine. So, if we're ready on time, let's go in three, two, one, go. Get ready for one shell of a run. Oh, oh they start early. <laughs> Can't believe this. All right. So, when you're playing on Xbox or PlayStation, there is a, like, there is a bit button where you can just super all the time. And super, but it's using your most powerful attack. Uh, it can one hit knock out any uh, foot player members. Uh, later in the game, there are certain things that can take two hits, but uh, the best bet, the best bet is to just, you know, have them line up and just take them all at the same time. But if you're like me and just panic mash, um, you're good. You're, you're go Stop it! Oh, I got that. Um, you'll you'll probably miss a couple of times. Just gotta turtle a little bit more. Be a little more defensive. Oh, later in the game, bosses turtle so hard. <laughs> All right. Oh. All right. So, um, in, like. For most people who run TMNT, uh, I'm probably under the assumption like most of us will have this, like this nostalgic feeling to it. Um, the first time that I was actually able to beat this game as a kid, I ended up pumping like it was twenty-five dollars in quarters at on a uh, on a machine at a skating rink, and then I realized that I didn't need twenty-five dollars to actually beat it. <laughs> and when you, when you over oh, no. when you over pump credits into the machine, they don't carry over to the next playthrough. They just cease to exist at that point. Oh no! <laughs> what the? Yeah, fifteen dollars down the drain. Oh come on! Oh Baxter, Baxter, stop being a butthole. And you'll hear me spam the credits uh, during every death. Um, that's around earlier. I am getting the one. Get out of that corner. Baxter, stop, man. Oh, no, bro. No. <laughs> <laughs> so it says that you just have to be right in his heart, uh, heart box in order to just get the easy hits off of him. Especially from the chat, why not? Uh, he has the best, he has the, uh, most range, uh, out of all the turtles. Um, and also, uh, his, uh, his, uh, special also has a lot of range. What? Stop! There! Plus, the whole trick is that every, after every boss fight, you want to be as close as you can to the center of the screen because he's going to walk across anyway. Yeah, he, he went off the rails there. You have to do a lot on the fly. Yep. Oh. <laughs> I'll be here all run, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I'm just glad <laughs> I, my PB is a sub 30. That's awesome. So essentially, this is a, this is a one-button beat 'em up uh, because of the cowboy collection. You would normally be able to do it if you hit. Uh, I think it was two attack buttons at once, but I don't remember. There were two attack buttons. Say was it was attack and jump at the same time. Oh yeah. Time. So they just simplified it. Just slapped it on a single button, and I thank them for it because. I did not realize that it was the case, and it's like, 
I'm sending, uh, I was streaming it the first time when I got it. And it's like, yeah, you know that there's a, a, a button where you don't have to hit, uh, you know, jump and attack at the same time. I'm like, wait, what? And then after the run, I actually looked, up, looked back and I'm like, yeah. Come on. You were much nicer in my PB. Why? He's hard hit. It's kind of a jerk. This is by far like the reason why this soundtrack slaps so much. Because out of all out of every single song in this uh in this OST, this one seems to be the most memorable. Do 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 There go the xenomorphs. Yep. Oh, what was it? The pizza creatures, I think they were called. Think so. All that I remember is in the cartoon series, they started, you know, crawling out of a pizza box. They're kind of adorable in a really weird way. <laughs> Make you want to stick them in a deep fryer. Um, yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> or a microwave. Oh, my God. I'm being attacked. <laughs> Chad, I'm being attacked. <laughs> There, there's one. It's aliens, maybe. Oh, come on! My toes, my toes. Speaking of pizza, it's uh interesting that the color of their of the turtles, uh, like masks and their love of pizza, debuted in the show. Yeah, this, wasn't the um, comic books black and white? Yep. There wasn't really a a color association with, with them until until the TV show. There we go. At least at least the Foot Clan is actually being nice. Take time to pump credits in. Sadistic pillow, that's what I'm saying. Uh, air fryer is way more efficient. <laughs> Listen, it's such a good, like, I feel so bad putting in the microwave every single time because it's so cute and you just watch it spin in the microwave and you're like, oh, my sweet little plush, but they're made for it. That's what they're supposed to do. <laughs> Jesus, come on. Get there. Got it. Hey. I don't try to catch them. So at 285 lives, you think I could beat the game, right? No. Wow! <laughs> Listen, for all the crap I got about my microwavable plush, I'm giving sass back. That's what I'm doing. Okay. She beat me to it. <laughs> so, I'm just kidding. You can do it. To, to to smarten up chat and the YouTube vods, there was a conversation going on in Discord, and I 
she posted the picture of a plush and all of a sudden I'm like, all right, I prefer the real thing, not knowing that you could put that plush in the microwave. Oh my God, I didn't realize that you didn't know it was microwavable when you said you prefer the real Ooh. thing. And I was like, that was so mean. <laughs> <laughs> that was so mean and I'm just in there like huh and then I look back and I'm like oh I'm so sorry I didn't read the context of that picture they're very cute but they are the problem is, is they are very cute so like watching them again genuinely sad so these rock monsters I keep forgetting their names like I look, look it up in Wikipedia and then instantly forget it on the following run but these are the instances of where they take two hits of the special. Where? Plus the hurt, the hurt boxes on the specials are such ridiculously long. Oh, I'm... those are stone warriors. Ooh. Man, I just had a shower. Man, I just had a shower. This is Cement Man. The Mint Man? Yep. Man, I just had a It's a shower. name that really sticks. You know, I keep inviting you to these things, and then I keep asking, <laughs> why do I invite you to these things? <laughs> That's the best type of, like, runner-commentator relationship. Like, why are you here, but also please come back? <laughs> what the funny thing about it is, is that we live relatively close to each other, like, in the same city. So it's like not like he can, like, come over and, like, have a beer, and then all of a sudden just crack punch directly in my face. Yeah, and I hope he does that literally all of the time. <laughs> you know, I wouldn't put it past him. <laughs> there we go. That's a four for one. Those are relatively rare. I didn't even get any of those in my PBs. And... Noise. Oh. Oh. I just oh. feel like oh. I can kind of state the obvious sometimes. <laughs> I just got really excited. Listen, don't. Just, listen, just, it's fine. We're on a boat. Yeah, it's fine. We're on a boat. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> that sailed right over me and it just like caught the bandana. <laughs> I mean, that's all that it takes to catch something on fire, so. All right, Captain Obvious. <laughs> oh, you just uh, you just made a pun too, Captain, on the ship. Yeah. <gasps> Let's go. Uh, that's, okay, that's, that's my one. I'll, I'll claim that as my one per run. <laughs> All right, so this is Tonka and Razor. The, the best part of the movie to never be in the original series. Yeah. I I'm agree. totally having a back in my day moment. <laughs> oh, gosh. Hey, I'm that old to where I can actually use that. Same, though. Earlier, I was like, I wonder if there's ever going to be a generation of kids that don't know what a CRT is. And chat was like, oh, honey. That's that happened Ooh, like a decade ago. <laughs> right. Oof. Yeah. Like, oh, Ugh. I don't want to talk about it. I was born in the 80s. Please leave me alone. <laughs> Same. Uh, <laughs> Same. We're just putting each other in the like straight mood right now. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. The, like, as soon as I was about to say, this Tonkin Razor fight's going pretty, pretty well, and then I just get utterly bodied. Come on! 
You're glowing for a reason. You're almost dead. <laughs> Die, monster. <laughs> Time to die. Oh, there's one. Yeah. Hey. Pupper. There's the other. Oh, little <laughs> turtle. <laughs> That's very cute. Bury my shell. Train. <laughs> Thank you for channeling my energy. <laughs> well, let me just say this, Blue Heart. Y'all are becoming great friends. If she ever needs someone on her couch, I think you, I think you're good. Like, please come announce the locations. That would mean just so much to me. Also, throw in just, some puns, and that's really all you need to do. Just single word locations. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, can we give a sh uh, shout out to Nicole for uh, getting her Haven World Record back? Thank oh, you. nice. Thank you, thank uh, you. I popped in and all of a sudden she's like, yeah, I think we're on world record pace if I don't screw up. And I'm like, oh, now that I'm here, that ain't going to happen. <laughs> oh, bless, bless her heart. <laughs> I got it and I cried. <laughs> it was... <laughs> Well, it sounds like your run, just like this one, was on track. Oh, that sounded so forced. <laughs> now you listen here. <laughs> that was very good, actually. <laughs> I like the random horses that, like, <laughs> just how they fade away when they're leaving the screen. Yeah, like everything else, when they die, they fade away. Well, no, but these just kind of like, no, these just go off, like they slink off screen. Like sneaky little sausages. They just kind of like sleek. Oh. They slink away. You said fade away and all of a sudden I'm like, so they're dead? There's dead horses in the TMNT game. <laughs> yeah, we microwave them, it's fine. Really feisty gator. Gator crocodile? Crocogator? Friends? Yeah, Leatherhead. Okay, thank this you for the assist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I have not one of my favorites. One I have favorite not movies. seen a TMNT movie. Uh, like, I've maybe have seen all three original movies and then, like, the one where uh, the the CG one where uh, Kevin Smith makes a cameo appearance. <laughs> I, I still need to see the most recent one. I need to see the new one. I kind of don't want to because I love my nostalgia the way that it is. <laughs> Come on, old man. <laughs> <laughs> Get with the times. <laughs> It's like when they, I when know they you did not say that you were also born in the 80s and you're calling him an old man. I know you didn't do that. Yep. <laughs> you sure did. <laughs> Highway. Nitty <Did he> backdrop. <laughs> Hoverboards. Oh, good, good. Dude in a chopper? <laughs> <laughs> And I imagine that when this game was created, they imagined the year 2000 or so forth to be like this. Oh, <laughs> where is my Back to the Future flying DeLorean? <laughs> you know, there's a uh, Broadway musical for Back to the Future now. And no they way. Have a, there is a DeLorean that flies like over the audience. At one point, it's <laughs> phenomenal. Nope, wrong way. Stop it. Stop jumping. Oh, he's a little feisty guy, but he's just a little guy. A little rock'em sock'em robot. Oh, it's like a little Maybe go dig to the yeah. garage and pull mine out <laughs> forever. <laughs> Really show at our age. Let me go take my Centrum Silver. 
Just remember, I'm not, I'm not the uh, CEO. I'm, I'm also a client. Um, <laughs> me with introducing the ball joke and the hair clip from then. Mm -hmm. I got it. I'm, ta I'm talking to the kids in chat. Oh, oh, <laughs> sorry, my bad. <laughs> Get down here! Oh my god. Air. Pizza time. So, Crane 1 is not that bad. It is Crane 2 that's the major butthole. Um. I can get lucky when he starts when uh, Crank starts lunging for that kick. If I super directly into him and within a certain amount of frames, I can actually knock him out of it. No, stop switching sides. Wow, Crank is such a brainy guy. I always got that uh, underscore IQ plays. <laughs> you get it, kids? Because he's nothing but brain. I'm getting juggled. The bosses are relentless. Mm-hmm. You know, I've often joked for years when I've been doing speedrunning that it's like the boss has kicked me in the teeth. This is the only boss that that actually legitimately kicks you in the teeth. Yeah, he sure <laughs> does. A lot. Yep. It's like his thing. He also belches out bombs at you. That's just great. <laughs> <laughs> And to reiterate, this is the arcade version. Yeah. <clears throat> so there are some people that had been asking about like certain aspects that weren't that didn't show up in the uh, in this version that were in the, the console version. All right. So this is the crane fight that I hate the most. So this was AD 2100. So this is supposed to take place in like 90 years or 80 years. You know, as long as they get their <laughs> flying cars. <laughs> oh, pick it up. Thank you. That pizza was a da bomb. Not beat this game fast enough. I'm aiming for a PB so these puns can stop. <laughs> That's the real reason he PBs when I'm on. He's mm -hmm. like, the shorter the run, the less puns, but that's just a challenge at that point. <laughs> you know, if anyone ever, like, watching the VODs or watching live, I implore you to go check out the torture that was the Mario Party 5 run I did for Legally Cute. Oh my god. Oh, that torture, sounds amazing. Please. It was <laughs> one hour and 19 minutes of nothing but puns. Uh, I had. That's great. It was your fault for playing Wild Luigi. Yeah, Wild Luigi is kind of the worst. <laughs> also, I canonically hate Luigi, so we're both bad. Hey, you hate Luigi? I do hate Luigi. I do, yeah. I don't like Luigi. So, <laughs> so the, the year Luigi was the year of torture for you, I guess. Yeah, honestly, worst year of life. <laughs> <laughs> what did Luigi have to do to you? Not exist. put your cat in the microwave? He just existed. That's all he needed to do. <laughs> Mario is just as bad. Like, I, I, I like Mario games. I just don't like Mario, like, as a person. <laughs> 
So you know what? Uh, like Mario gets a castle and he gets one up by getting two mansions. Have happened. Get! Luigi just be out here trying to live his life. <laughs> he just He's gets so caught up in all of his of brother's everything. inventions. Also, I mean, to be fair, <laughs> same, but. <laughs> I don't know. I, maybe I'll come around to Luigi one day. We'll see. But for now. <laughs> Alright, so this is the fight that I hate. Dude, this game is so weird brain. because some like sometimes you have to be on the right plane like on the on the Z axis you, then you don't have to in order to get the hits in and then that happens oh, <laughs> Flying around like Dr. Wily Would you say his moves are sometimes a bit alien to you? <laughs> You see, I expected, you know, <laughs> that it, the, the puns to come from Blue Heart. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm not sorry. I know you're not. <laughs> oh, yeah, futuristic lab. <laughs> we forgot to call out the location. Big TV. Oh, shoot. Yeah, <laughs> huge TV. <laughs> Game is just not wanting to agree with me. I love because of the foot clan. He just has this giant foot print on the, on the front of the, the saucer. Like you, you can't identify that he's a baddie just by looking at everything else other than that <laughs> foot. Nope, you gotta brand it. Make sure he's marketing it. How did that hit? He's red with anger. I do like his very like bubblegum pink ship though. Yeah. It makes me very happy. <laughs> Like he's it's trying to be so terrifying with, <laughs> with that like, bright sir, pink. You can't scare me. <laughs> All right, time's gonna get called on the fade to black. They really like the Statue of Liberty in these games. <laughs> Like, I know this is New York, but still. <laughs> Wait, you mean you don't see the Statue of Liberty from every section of New York you've ever gone to ever? Just directly in your face? Just right there. <laughs> just, just look out him. the hotel window and there's there the Statue is. of Liberty just, looking you back. You open your blinds and she's just staring in your window. <laughs> I'd cry. I just closed the blinds again. <laughs> like, absolutely not. Oh. <laughs> she looms. They said they would feel like she's judging them 
It kind yeah, of does she's feel probably, that way. She's probably sitting there like, are you tired? Are you hungry? Are you poor? Yeah. Yes, I am all of those. I'm expecting the <laughs> Ghostbusters to just reach pop up in the crown and just hook up any that's advantage to her skull. <laughs> it's a Ghostbusters reference. Watch your movies, yep. people. No. Oh, okay. I actually did see <laughs> Ghostbusters for the first time, like, three or four years ago at this point. I love Ghostbusters. It was very good. It took me entirely too long to watch it. And... Uh, Time. Yeah, hey. wow. Can I get a time, please? Uh, it was. You can. Just give me a second. Uh, okay. Just give Easy me one second. Stream to catch up. I got you. I, yeah, yeah. I have the amount of time I need to add to it, uh, but I, you know, it's fine. Uh, <laughs> 2951. Ah. Uh, oh. Sub 30? Yeah. Sub 30, sub but 30. Like, it's about. A minute and a half over PB. Uh, that's still a really good time. Okay, Mr. Yeah, Chess I, got a PB. Nice <laughs> settle down. Look, <laughs> if I don't feel like I could... I mean, like, if I didn't PB twice before uh, before tonight, I would have gotten the PB on a hotfix. You did super PB <laughs> twice, which is phenomenal, and congratulations <laughs> on that. That was great. Also, <sighs> glider. Oh, my gosh. Oh, glider. God. <laughs> <laughs> you can't escape. And I hope, credits. Hope you know one day I'm just gonna pop in if you're streaming and just, just say whatever location you're in, and that's gonna be first time chat, Nicole. Good night. And it's gonna be like warehouse, <laughs> and people are gonna be like, "What are you talking about? Don't worry about it. It's fine." <laughs> And I'm going to show up and say microwave. and <laughs> <laughs> Then I'll have to explain to chat again that, like, this cat is supposed to be microwaved. Yeah, that I don't think that sounds as good. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Out loud. It definitely doesn't. <laughs> it's a in your head. This, this plush cat <laughs> that is made for the microwave as a heat pack <laughs> is supposed to be microwaved. Um, someone's asking in chat, just out of curiosity, is there a category that tries to avoid deaths? Um, I think, can't remember exactly, but I think there's a 1cc uh, category for this game. Um, but the only way to do that is to go to the leaderboards and then join the Discord, attach to those leaderboards, and then learn how to play. Oh, that was a really nice transition. I, I, I tried. Those are rare, was, like my puns. Yeah, that was really um, good. <laughs> the um, another thing that um, uh, my toes, my if toes. you happen to find a actual arcade, not the Dave and Buster's crap, but an actual <laughs> arcade where you put in quarters, Shots I would strongly fired. recommend to play this and all the other classics, Simpsons, X Men. I'm showing my age if I didn't already. Um. Uh, X-Men arcade game is so good. And just have a blast. Like, even though that the game is accessible, nothing's a greater feeling than just popping in quarters in a machine and playing it like, like it was originally intended. And if you get a chance to play the X-Men arcade game, at least make it to Magneto so you can hear that famous voice line. Oh, um, I was Welcome there. to die. Welcome to die. <laughs> um, so I was there at, uh, at GDQ and... Um, uh, all that I remember is that like I remember that there was a bid war. I don't remember who won it, but all of a sudden I just hear everyone just go, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> the passionate response anyway, from the Nicole, crowd. thank you for having me. Of course, thank you for being here. Where can people find you? Hello. You can find me almost <laughs> dang near everywhere at H Till a Happy Dude. Um, uh, I got Blue Sky, Threads, Twitter, X, whatever they call it now. Um, and it's the letter O, not zero. Yes. <laughs> I I keep, I made one mistake and said the, 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 the letter zero, and then it was like, you need oh, to brand that now. the letter zero, now. yeah? Mm-hmm. Okay, I'll remember that. Don't worry. <laughs> it pulls like a telltale game. She will remember everything. Um, <laughs> I will remember that. <laughs> Um, but yeah, um, 
I stream whenever I'm off of work. Uh, just follow me on social media and you'll be able to get the information on when I stream next. Now it's time for me to run from these puns. <laughs> Blue Heart, do you have uh, any any shout outs anywhere where people can find you and, and maybe more puns or <laughs> sure. I also stream on Twitch. Uh Blue Heart everywhere, B L U three H R T. Uh, I'm a family friendly variety streamer. I play a lot of Pokemon, a lot of indie games. Uh I do a little bit of speed running. Uh sometimes I'll I'll throw on some Hades and, and do a little little running on that um but yeah you can find me everywhere at that same handle awesome awesome thank you both for being here i had a lot of fun with this even you know the puns the puns were very good uh, it was my pleasure <laughs> to join you in in torturing h2o happy dude or h2 the letter zero happy dude <laughs> it was a pleasure <laughs> <laughs> i'm so sorry <laughs> well, I hope you both have a really good night. Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, Twitch my chat, toes, that toes. is it for tonight. Uh, we had some amazing runs, some fantastic uh, pizza monsters, which I love, uh, actually. My new favorite thing are the pizza xenomorphs, so that's good. Uh, I found a new thing I didn't think I would find. But, you know, thank, again, thank you for being here. That means a lot. Uh, tomorrow, if you want to tune in, we will have Going Places, Grudge Match, and Parallel Universe. This is all going to be starting at 4 p.m. Eastern. So if you like speedruns, which you do, come join us tomorrow for more speedruns. I will see you all next time in two weeks on another episode of As Soon on TV. And I'll see you around in chat. Have a lovely night. Go drink more water.